Hey everybody, Pastor Sam. I'm here at the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas. One of our great landmarks, a great monument to Texas independence, the American spirit, the indomitable spirit that we try to live and embody today and which will be needed again. Of course, many heroes fought and died here. They knew it was a suicide battle for less than 200 men to try to hold the sport against over 5,000 Mexican Army regulars under General Santa Ana, and they did die. But this is the spark that begun the counterattack, and eventually Santa Ana was defeated, and uh, Texas became free. Texas, before it was a state, was a nation. But I want to talk a little bit about what's going on today because there are heroes on this stature right now among us. And the one I want to tell you about is Oscar Perez. Just on a Monday of this week, Donald Trump spoke in Florida to the Venezuelan community and he had a very special guest. That guest was Alminta Perez. And she spoke in Spanish just a little bit, and I'm going to translate the things that she said because it's not on the White House webpage. So this is a public service announcement. What was said by Trump's very special guest? I'll tell you one thing that she said. As a Latin American, a Spanish-speaking person from another country, she said, Mr. Trump, we want you to help us to go home to our nation, the motherland and our fatherland of Venezuela. But she is the mother of a great hero who fought and lost his life to try to bring attention and try to start a revolution against Nicolas Maduro, who the world now agrees is a despot and a dictator and needs to be removed for the restoration of the constitutional order there in Venezuela. So Oscar Perez was a police officer and he served for 15 years in Venezuela's uh, their, basically their Federal Bureau of Investigation, their forensic police. And he resisted the Maduro regime, but there came a point where he and his helpers attacked a government garrison and seized rifles and ammunition, 29 rifles. Then he flew over the city in a helicopter and threw grenades down. Maduro finally attacked him and they brutally killed him, as the president said. They launched rocket-propelled grenades repeatedly into the small house where he was staying until they killed him brutally as he live-streamed. So Alminta, when she spoke to the nation, she said, I apologize for my tears. I apologize for my tears. We're here to remember my son, Oscar Perez, who lost his life battling this despotic dictator, Nicolas Maduro. I apologize for my tears. And then she said, it is the birthday of my son today when we remember him. And then in finality, she said, I hope that Maduro is removed and that I can go home to my beloved Venezuela, our motherland and fatherland. Today these heroes are alive. I wish there were more of them here where the police are kicking us out of the monument for taking a picture and for remembering this great history. I'm Pastor Sam. Join us on Impact.com.